So the other day I went to turn on my AC and check this out. It's not working. It's just blinking cool on. It's supposed to say cool on and not blink. So what's up with that? We're going to address that in this video. All right. I am no HVAC specialist whatsoever. So take everything you see and hear in this video with a grain of salt and always read your specific instruction manual before you get started on this. But uh, here's basically what's going on. I've got a Honeywell thermostat here and check it out. I went to turn it on and it says cool on and it's blinking and there's no fan or anything and there's no air coming out. So uh, what am I going to do? I'm just going to start pushing a bunch of buttons, right? Just kidding. I'm not. Uh, but I am going to turn that fan on from auto to on just to make sure the fan is operating and there's power going to the fan. When you click fan on, uh, at least when I do on this particular set, uh, the air should be coming through your system. Not cold, but room temperature air. So I know it's not a fan issue, right? And then naturally I turned it off to the off position and then turn it back to cool, right? To see if that maybe would, would do something. And, and no, it didn't. Uh, so it's still blinking cool here. And then I started pressing the up and down button. Note, note the temperature is on hold. So it's supposed to hold at the specific uh, temperature of what? Uh, 74 degrees or 75 degrees where the room temperature is 79 degrees. So I kind of turned down the, the, the temperature a little bit and then turn it back up to see, Hey, would that do anything? And no, it's still blinking cool on. All right. So now I'm thinking something major might be wrong, right? Am I going to have to call an HVAC person to come out and check this out? What if there's a big problem going on? Well, let me show you kind of what I did. I first of all went down to my basement and made sure that my air filter was indeed switched out. Look how dirty that one was. Uh, air, a properly cleaned air filter is one of the best things apparently you can do for your HVAC system. Again, I'm no pro. I also went to the breaker box and just made sure that there was no issues with power, right? Made sure everything was on. If there was a power outage, maybe there was something going on there, but everything was fine. Uh, I also went to the uh, instruction manual for this specific model. And you'll definitely want to do that because that's probably going to tell you, hey, if it's blinking cool on, here's what you need to do. Okay, so definitely check that out. Um, you could even consider resetting the programmable thermostat. In this particular thermostat, you hold these two buttons like that for several seconds, and then it should uh, reset. And that's going to uh, basically erase any programmed, you know, like at 6 o'clock in the morning, I want it to turn on and go to 70, you know, four degrees, but at night it can go down a little, you know, that, that kind of thing. So you can reset that. So I did that and that also did not work. Uh, and I also popped the, the thermostat off and I made sure that there was fresh batteries in the thermostat. Yes, this one had batteries, right? And also just looked around to make sure, I don't know anything about these cords, what they do. I don't encourage you to go poking around there, but I did just kind of look to see, Hey, is there something obvious, you know, going on? No, still the same problem. So what, oh, what did I do? Would you like to take any guesses before I tell you? I'll give you a hint. What are you looking at right now? What am I doing? Okay. So what I was doing there is basically waiting. Yes. Apparently these thermostats have after a power outage or after you, uh, turn the unit on cool and then turn it off and then try to turn it back on again. Ask yourself that question. Did you do that? Did you turn it on and then turn it off and then turn it back on again? Because apparently, based on what I understand of this, there is a safety feature that's built in to protect the compressor inside your HVAC system, your AC, right? So that that compressor uh, doesn't overheat and fail or whatever. For whatever reason, they do that. I have no idea. So what I did was I set a timer and I just waited and... I turned the temperature down a little bit to 72 ambient temperature has a, has risen to 80 degrees. I made sure my features were set to auto and cool. Like you see here and the hold button was on. So it temperature holds and listen up. Did you hear that click? Yeah, that's the compressor turning on. Look at the button. It says cool on. It is stable on. In other words, it's not blinking. So that means everything seems to be working just fine. I can turn the temperature now up to 73 or down a little more, whatever I want. Let's go over to the vent, the air duct here, just to make sure there is water or air coming out water. I was looking at the dog's water bowl there and that is cold air. I assure you. So that is how I solved the problem. Just wait. And if that doesn't work time to call in the pros probably.